Hi, Julius here. In this video I'm going to go through the features in Midgrid Lite. This applies to both macOS and Windows. If you wish to follow along, you can go to midgrid.com and down here you'll find these same features listed. And I'm going to go through these by order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so let's boot up Midgrid Lite and let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. First of all, we toggle between the menus using control and 1 to 5 so meaning control 1 is color adjustments, control 2 is primary sparse, control 3 is curves, control 4 is qualifiers and control 5 is power window. Using shift key is a modifier for keyboard shortcuts and to do the adjustments themselves you use U, O and with I you do the adjustments in 10 times more speed and pushing K down, you'll do it much slower in quarter speed. So let's start by going through these nine universal keys, which are available in every menu. Those are new note. We can toggle between next and previous note, append note, delete note, then there's parallel note, and then there's layer note, and of course bypass this one node or all of these selected nodes and bypass grade. In color adjustments the main features are lift Y, gamma Y, gain Y and then luminance mix. Next row is contrast, pivot, saturation, U, then the next one is temperature, tint, midtone detail, color boost, shadows, highlights, and finally a logarithmic a low range and high range. The shortcuts in this menu are create a still and we can browse between them then this enhanced viewer show reference wipe and invert wipe and finally there's reset color adjustments moving on to primary bars here we have first row is gain gain dominance gain red gain green and gain blue Next row is gamma. This is gamma luminance, gamma red, gamma green, and gamma blue. Next row is lift, lift luminance, lift red, lift green, and lift blue. And finally there's offset. This is offset luminance, offset red, offset green, and offset blue. In this menu the shortcuts are Reset Gain, Reset Gamma, Reset Lift, Reset Offset and then there's again Enhanced Viewer, we have Wipe and Invert. Next up we have Curves and on this first row we have Soft Clip. This is Low Soft, this is Low, then there's High and finally there's High Soft. And how this performs is by navigating with these shortcuts through these different pages and we use the rest of the buttons to choose between different colors. So let's jump to hue versus hue for example and if we want to adjust reds we toggle from here and then move the adjustment like this. And to change the selection we either can move the selection point like this or we can also use the other colors next to it and let's say make it more narrow this way. So these are of course red, then there's yellow, green, cyan, blue and purple. So they go in the same order as on the screen. Then the pages are of course first is custom, hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, hue versus luminance, luminance versus saturation and saturation versus saturation and how this one works for example because we don't have any colors here we 
have to create the points by a mouse and after that we can move it around. And finally this reset curves. So next up is qualifiers. This is pretty straightforward because the features in Resolve are laid out almost identically to mid-grid slide. So let me show you what I mean. There's U center, U width, U soft, and U symmetry. Then there's saturation, but I've actually chosen to have low soft first, and then low. Next up is high, and then high soft. Next row is luminance low soft, luminance low, luminance high, and luminance high soft. And finally there's denoise, clean black, clean white, and blur radius. And the shortcuts are disable or enable hue, saturation, luminance, and highlight. And finally there's reset hue, saturation, and luminance. Okay, last but not least we have power windows. And here in shortcuts we have linear window, circular window, polygon window, curve window, and finally gradient window. And then there's window outline, and of course highlight. And how to adjust these windows, let's say we make a circular window, and here's size, aspect, panning and tilting, rotating, and opacity. Let's create a linear window, and here we have soft 1, soft 2, soft 3, and soft 4. And if we create a curve window, we can get to inside blur and outside blur. So what the rest of the buttons do, there's tracking forward, stop tracking, and tracking reverse. And the last function is key output, which is basically opacity for that selected node. Alright, that's all for now. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.